Welcome to the Mentally Whole Podcast. I am your host, Lauren Green. This podcast is a safe place for us to have weekly discussions about mental health, Christ, personal development, and the tools to live our best lives. Please stay tuned for a new episode. Hey y'all, welcome to the Mentally Whole Podcast. I am your host, Lauren Green. This is episode number 10. Okay, so for a few housekeeping announcements, don't forget to subscribe, share, and rate the podcast. Subscribing and rating to the podcast shows me that you guys are listening and enjoying what I am putting out for you guys. And just share this podcast with someone who you think would benefit from this information. The second podcast announcement is don't forget to complete the listener survey. It's my fault that it hasn't been in the show notes, but I want all my listeners to take just a few minutes to click the link in the show notes and complete the survey because the more I know about my listeners, the better the content will be. So we have a winner. So I mentioned last week about a journal giveaway because I love to journal and I told you guys that I would announce that winner in this week's episode so drum roll please the winner of this episode is Shatira girl so Shatira girl is my co-worker she has been extremely supportive of the podcast she listens to the episodes when she has in her free time And I appreciate your support and I will hand deliver you the journal, right? So let's get into today's episode. So we are going to start a new podcast series this week. Um, I had in mind to do a different episode, but I'm going to start with this series to kind of round out the year and you know, eventually in around the holidays, I will be taking a break from podcasting. So, you know, be prepared for that to all my listeners. Um, But this series will be called the fourth quarter. So when you see this, the series in the whatever podcast directory you use, um, the four Q four Q will stand for the fourth quarter. So I named it the fourth quarter because one, this is the fourth quarter of the year. So the fourth quarter starts October the 1st through December 31st. And then January 1st of 2020 will be the first quarter of the year. So most businesses use this quarter um, system um, for the for their business year and when I imagine the fourth quarter, I think of businesses strategizing, um, assessing how their 2019 year went, um, preparing for the holidays, what else? Figuring out what worked and what worked and what didn't work as a business. When I also think of the fourth quarter, I think of a basketball game. I think of, you know, two opposing teams studying their opponents, studying what they already know how to do and using that to win in the fourth quarter. Right. So I envision this fourth quarter series to really discuss different things that we need to do as we close out the year 2019 and as we close out this new this old decade that's about to end so in this series we will be talking about declutter that's today's episode we will be talking about doing our own personal year in review and we will also talk about 2020 goals um i don't really have any other ideas for the rest of this series because I'm not too sure I'm not too sure how long I'm gonna like when I'm gonna start my break right I'm not sure about that so as of right now those are the topics I have in mind I'll more than likely as I get started and really start talking about the topics I'll have more so we're gonna put a pin in that and we're gonna start our discussion on declutter so 
I thought about doing this episode because I have been trying to tackle my closet for a very long time. I think it causes me anxiety. That's why I haven't done it yet. Right? So I know that, you know, there's other people like me who have clutter in their life and they need to know how to get rid of it. So when researching for this episode, I googled different articles and the best article that I found was on US News and it's called Why Decluttering is Good for Your Health. Who knew it was good for your health, right? So this article um, defines decluttering as removing unneeded and unwanted things from your home or office. Decluttering is not a new concept. That's why there are shows like Hoarders where people help other people declutter their lives. And there's even a show with Marie Kondo called Tidying Up on Netflix, and that's all she does as well. And just other things that are in the air. Clutter can also cause shame, and it can cause family stress. Right? And the interesting thing about clutter is that when you start to tackle your clutter, you will begin to tackle deeper problems that the clutter is covering up. So if you ever watched the show of Hoarders, uh, I remember one episode that I watched, it was an older lady and she had so much clutter. I mean, if you want to look at some clutter, you can probably find old Hoarders episodes on YouTube, honestly. But she had so much clutter. And in this episode, she started to buy all these different things and keep all these different things because she was trying to fill that void of her children leaving the home, right? So she was just buying all this stuff, shopping just to fill that one, that big void of her kids leaving home, right? And when you start to, you know, uh, collect clutter and collect things it starts to become a ritual and a tradition and most people collect clutter to make up for some sense of loss in other areas of their lives like if they lose a person or if you know someone close to them moves away you know they they will begin to start collecting clutter because of something else that's going on in their life So my tips for decluttering, let's go there. So, and then we'll get into like some of the benefits of an uncluttered space. So my first tip, so this decluttering um, episode isn't all about physical things either. This can be for an idea that you have. It can be for a business. It can be for a person, a relationship, you know, clean out the clutter in your life. So the first tip to decluttering is take an inventory of the things you have, right? Go through your closet, go through your contact list, go through your mail, go through whatever you need to go through to declutter, you know, take an inventory, take an assessment of what you have and take, and while you are decluttering, also take an assessment of the things that you need. Right. Because you might have some stuff in your closet from 10 years ago that you can't even fit anymore. And you might need to replace some of those things with newer items. Point number two, um, get rid of the things that no longer serve a purpose or the things that are taking up space. Like, you know, what are some people that no longer serve you a purpose what are some beliefs that you have that are just taking up space in your life what are some fears that you have that you need to let go of in order to you know have less anxiety what do you need to get rid of the third point that I want to make is that sometimes 
we avoid clutter because we honestly do not want to deal with it. Oftentimes, when you see a person that has a lot of clutter, they don't want to deal with it. Why? Because dealing with that clutter is a lot of work, right? And human nature, human behavior, if it's too much work, we avoid it. Um, the next tip I wanted, not next tip, the next point I wanted to make is sometimes you do not have the skills or knowledge on how to organize. You cannot expect someone to do something if they don't know how to do it, right? I remember as a child, when I was younger, my mom would tell me to clean my room and my version of cleaning the room was putting everything in the closet or or underneath the bed, Right. I don't know what I was thinking, but I I just put everything in the closet in the bed, underneath the bed, right? So my mom would come in and be like, where where are all your stuff at? And then she would check, she would check the closet and be like, Lauren, you just put everything in the closet, right? So with that example, you know, I didn't really know how to organize. I just knew, hey, just throw it in the closet. Right. And some of us are just throwing stuff in the closet that you need to go through and process. You're putting stuff on the shelf that you need to go in and process. You're putting that relationship on the shelf that you need to go in and deal with your emotions about. You're putting those clothes, those shoes in the closet. Oh, yeah, I just bought them to look good. Haven't even worn them in two years or three years. You just bought them. Right. What are the things you need to learn how to organize what skill sets do you need to learn how to organize right and oftentimes if you don't know something or you don't know how to do a certain thing you revert you revert back to what you know so let's talk about some declutter benefits and then i will let you guys enjoy your day um because i'm recording this episode on a sunday and i never record on sundays so this will be fun so some benefits of decluttering is less stress and anxiety right when you begin to um, remove the clutter when you get to you know just get rid of the things that no longer serve you a purpose there is less stress and anxiety you're able to find the things that you need You have better decision-making skills, right? You know what to keep. You know what to let go of. You have more peace, you know? There's, there's, There's just an ease when there's no clutter in your life. You have more confidence because you said, hey, I cleaned out this closet. I cleaned out this contact list. I cleaned out my email because also emails can be a form of clutter. Having 18,000 emails ain't cute. You have more confidence. You have improved health habits, right? Removing all that clutter gets rid of all the dust and toxins and, you know, it improves your sleep and you're healthier when you declutter, right? Right. So um, just want to give you guys a head up for future episodes. Our next possibly two to three episodes will be our year in review. So I am personally doing this year in review in my own devotional quiet time because I can't walk you guys through something that I haven't already done. So when we get to those episodes, we will I will break up the year in review in two episodes to make it easier for everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode about clutter and decluttering and have a great week. Stay tuned for next week's episode.